Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have quite a huge haul here, <laughs> as you can see. Um, kind of slowly been uh, collecting on my desk and I think I have all of them now. Um, so I wanted to wait till I had gotten the ones that I finally all ordered um, before I shown these. All of these books are by Bright Ideas. It doesn't say it on the back. <laughs> Bright Ideas Paper. Bright Ideas Paper Publishing. And most of these you will find on Amazon under um, Jennifer Rowling, R-O-L-L-I-N-G. Some of these have her name in or their name. I don't know if it's an actual person. Um, these last couple are under a different company name, but still under the publisher of Bright Ideas Paper Publishing. They are all one color books. You know me and my one color. And I think I have done at least a picture out of all of these. So um, won't be able to do complete flips, of course, through them because it's very hard to see the pictures. Uh, this one is called Dots, Lines, Spirals Coloring Book. And this one is Kittens. Isn't that one pretty? So this is the front cover. The back cover, 20 amazing artworks with cute cats. Just one color. You can make pictures come to life. Do not have to worry about changing colors. Enjoy this book. So it is smaller in size. It's like a eight and a half by eight and a half rather than eight and a half by 11. And I am doing, I think this is the one that I didn't finish. So we have our title page, nameplate page, why you will love this book. <laughs> okay, it just talks about being single-sided and things like that. Okay, here we do have a coloring test page. Kind of tells you how to go about doing it. Every image is placed on its own black backed page to reduce the bleed through problem found in other coloring books. Well, we kind of know by experience that it does not eliminate bleed through. Um, you still have to put a blotter page underneath, especially if you're using alcohol markers. Now this one that I got, I do believe is printed backwards, but in this case, it didn't bother me that much. Um, I do have a different one I'm going to show you that was printed backwards and I did get a replacement. Um, but it is just your typical spirals. I did the lines one because they're my favorite, right? <laughs> so I did this with the black divicle gel pen, the dual metallic, so you can see the red in it also. But didn't that turn out cute? And all it is, is lines that you color in. You know, you just, these lines go diagonal. Sometimes they'll go diagonal. Sometimes they'll go vertical. Sometimes they'll go horizontal. Um, but yeah, all you do is you color in the lines. And I do have a video out there on how to color in the lines, dots, and spirals books. So if you have any questions, you could look in that video. So yeah, that's what these all are. Here's a dots one. You can kind of see with that one, that's a more cartoonish cat. But of course the spirals and the lines, you're not gonna be able to pick them out. Here's a dots one, another kind of cartoonish looking one. So, oh, that's cute. Uh, so it looks like they kind of alternate. We have a dots, we have a spiral, and then we have a line. And I wonder why those circles are there. Hmm, I think that's another printing error. And then we have spiral. I'll just color over the top of it. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and then we have a line that's kind of wavy. So yeah. So that one again is kittens. 
Then we have dots, lines, and spirals. We have 25 most popular dog breeds. Look at that one. Oh, I, I want a Pomeranian. <laughs> so Bella was supposed to be. And this is the back cover. 25 pictures in here, again, by Bright Ideas Paper Publishing. So we do have the title page, nameplate page, again, while you will love this book. Coloring test page, again, your guide, the types that they have in here. So there are a number of different types of pictures in here. We have our typical spiral. We have wavy lines, um, circle, which is similar to the spiral, but it cuts off on the bottom. It's not a complete circle till you get in farther, um, and it doesn't spiral around. We have the lines. We have dots and lines. Now, these are different. We have squares and then cut-off paper is what they're calling it. But you can see what that kind, let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe you can see it a little bit better because these are different. So that's what they call cut off paper. So a number of different types of one color coloring in here. We have some quotes over on the left side. So yeah, this book is printed correctly. <laughs> So we have some spirals. I did, again, a lines one, again with my divicle. Dual metallic gel pens. Cute. <laughs> Here's a dots and lines. So yeah, that's what this whole book entails. I wanted to see what, oh, here's one of the, what is it called? Cut off page or whatever. So that looks different, and I think the next one was a square one. Yeah. Oh, that looks like fun. I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> so, yep, that's what's through the entire book. In the back, I'm assuming maybe, let's see, is that what's in the kittens one too? Is it? Yeah. Kind of shows you what all the pictures are in the back of this one. It's called Hints. So talks about each breed and then things about that particular breed. It's temperament, height, typical height for male and females, weight, again, for male and female, and a life expectancy. So here's the one that I did. Shiba Inu, is that what they're called? Alert, active, attentive. 23 pounds for male, 17 for females. Life expectancy, 13 to 16 years. Wow. Okay. So cute. See, a Yorkshire Terrier. That's what Bella's mostly. She's Pomeranian, Yorkie mix, but looks more like a Yorkie than a Pomeranian. <laughs> There's a Pomeranian. <laughs> Someday. Okay, then again, asking for a review. Blank sheet at the back. Okay, on to the next one. I absolutely love this book. I was going bazonkers in this book. This one is Spiroglyphics Baby Animals. 25 pictures in here. Now, this one does state Jennifer Rowling on it, or Rowling, um, the back cover. Seven and a half inch width, perfect proportion of the spiral. So that's why they made it this size. This is volume one, so I didn't see any other ones out there yet, but maybe they're going to be coming up with some more, I hope. <laughs> Nameplate page talks about their other books. One Color Dots and Lines series. I do have a number of them here. Dots, Lines, Spiral. And I do have a number of these, but these are under a different name. And I'll show you that. It's not under Jennifer Rowling. Nameplate page. Again, how to color it. A couple different ways you can do it. 
And I did this one. So we got our cute bunny. <laughs> cute little piggy. These are not, these are not hard like some of the other dots, lines, and spirals. Those spirals are oh, literally impossible to color, aren't they? Not these. These are fun. <laughs> did that little cutie and a little baby monkey and that cute. <laughs> oh, I did do a giraffe. Mm. Did do more. <laughs> Our kitty. And that's it. So I got seven done in this book already. Like I said, I am loving it. And here it shows you what all the pictures are. So, oh, that one was a baby cheetah. Okay. And then the cat is here. All right. So that one is baby animals, spiroglyphics. Then we have a couple of celebrities books. This is Dots, Lines, Spirals. Um, celebrities volume one and then there is a volume two that I'll get to this one again has Jennifer Rowling on it uh, publisher is bright ideas paper 15 spiroglyphic pages eight and a half by 11 high quality paper creativity and funny <laughs> relax with just one color it's not high quality paper, it is Amazon paper, but if you're coloring with, you know, just a gel pen or a fine liner or what have you, it's not a problem. So again, does state Jennifer Rowling. Talks about their other books, nameplate page, again, how to do it. Pens and markers how you can frame them, and we get into the puzzles. So I did only do one in here. Some of the pictures they showed in the back, it's like, I don't know these people. <laughs> so I did only do one in here, but in the back, again, it does give you the answers. It's in a weird font though. It's hard to read some of them, but most of them I know. Okay, so then we have a volume two, exact same thing as a volume one. And I did her with the black dual metallic divicle. And him, I did do a couple in here. Oh, did more in here than volume one. <laughs> okay, so I did those three. This one looks odd, doesn't it? So again, all lines, which you know is my favorite. There were answers at the back. Then we have spiroglyphics animals. Again, this just says uh, Bright Ideas Paper Publishing, but I believe this again is under Jennifer Rawling. So this is Animals. Book starts out the same. This is the one. <laughs> it's not spirals. This one is circles. Yeah, but it says spiroglyphics. Um, okay, it is spirals. I take that back. But when you get to the outside, now this is the one that I just started. Because um, when you get to the bottom, to the outsides, it is very, very thin. So I am doing this with my uh, glitter gel pens. Um, and of course you can't color in between the lines when you're out here. So I just colored over the top of it. So the whole thing would be purple, but I did not finish this one yet. So, um, but again, you have the answers in the back and they're just all spirals. But again, these are not quite as hard as some of the spiral books I have seen. Like I said, I think the hardest part is just the very outside when they're very, very fine. The rest of it isn't so bad. 
I just have a hard time drawing a straight line. I couldn't draw a straight line if my life depended on it. And so you need kind of a steady hand for those. All right, we have lines, spots, and dots. 30 best characters of all time. There are 30 pages in this one. So you can do them one color. You can do a gradient color effect. You can do multiple colors. Or you can do it in like black and then fill in the background with colors. Now, I would have a hard time doing this because as you look at the pictures, it would kind of be hard to tell where something starts and stops. I don't know if that makes sense. The book starts out the same. And here we have a Woody. I did do a uh, Wally. Love that movie. But again, you know, it. you can kind of see, like, if you wanted to do the mouth, I don't know, red, and the rest of it green or what have you. Uh, some of it you can tell, but some of them you really can't. It does give you the answer over here, upside down. So, yep. Yeah. All kinds of lines and dots. All right, next, another Jennifer Rowling book, a one color. This is volume four. So again, front cover, back cover gives you the answers. Let me open this. So we have our title page, nameplate page. Here are some examples. I did do her last night. I finished this one up. So again, divicle, gel pens. So all of these, again, are the lines and dots. The whole book. Another one in that series is this one, and this is volume five. So the exact same thing. Did I even get to coloring one? Oh yeah, I did this and I actually tried one with alcohol marker. This is with the Tau Tree because the Tau Tree alcohol markers are that real thin barrel with a real fine tip and the fine chisel. Worked awesome in here. Then we have the One Color Wildlife book. Again, same thing. Gives the answers at the back, but it's all the lines and dots. Did I do one in here? I didn't. Okay. Now here is the one. This is the last Jennifer Rowling and then we'll get to um, the other company name. Uh, this one I received. I was so bummed out. <laughs> Mosaics color by number. This is three and a half by three and a half millimeter squares. You know how much I love my square coloring books where I can do my cross stitch method. Three and a half is not a whole heck of a lot bigger than Belva families because there's our three millimeter square. So this is cartoon characters, color by number. This is the back page, isn't that cute? 24 pictures. Again, this one does state Jennifer Rowling. Rowling, I don't know. But this is on very high quality paper. This is that real shiny paper. And when I received this, it was printed backwards. So just like that other one, but this one would have bothered me more because it's a color by number book. And I would, I don't know, it just, it would bother me. So I am returning this one. I ordered a new one and this one is printed correctly. Now, if you have the Prismacolor markers, this goes according to the Prismacolor colors. I don't have these, but if you are lucky enough to have the Prismacolors, this book kind of goes by these colors. Interesting. So here is Puzzle 1. Gives you the warm colors. And again, if you have the Prismacolors, it tells you exactly what marker to use. Would have been nice if they would have done Copics instead. <laughs> Not everybody has either one, I guess, so it's kind of unusual that they picked that marker. But you do have your color key along the bottom also. And it's not huge, you know, a huge color key, so I don't think it'll be too hard to match. 
them up. But yeah, it's on that really nice shiny paper that works so well with markers, either alcohol base or water base. Some of them have, you know, smaller palettes than others. But I am, of course, going to be doing my cross stitch method in here. So yeah, if you do happen to get one that is printed backwards, by all means, get a replacement. They are asking to return that one. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So I do have to run that one into Kohl's. <laughs> then we have our thank you page. They are on Instagram, Bright Ideas Paper, and Amazon Bright Ideas Paper Publishing. Or again, look for that Jennifer Rowling. Okay, then the other couple that I have, again, by Bright Ideas Publishing, but the company name is different. It's called Husky Wanna Fly. <laughs> Isn't that different? Husky Wanna Fly. Different. So here is a Dots and Lines coloring book, and these are cartoon characters. You know, the first thing that I, I used to be a proofreader. Um, I was a typist, my very first job, and then I would have to proofread other people's work. So I catch spelling errors a lot. Look at the way characters is spelt. C-H-A-R-A, -A, and they missed the C. <laughs> Leave it to me to find that. And same here. But anyhow... <laughs> nameplate page again laid out just like the Jennifer Rowling books and then we get to puzzle one and you can definitely see who that is <laughs> I did do a lines one and we have Woody again I don't know Woody Woody so we do have all kinds of lines and then dots that would be easy one to do and then last but not least is another one color book, Cartoon Characters, again misspelled. <laughs> Back cover. And this again is by Husky Wanna Fly. And maybe they spell it that way. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, but. So we have some additional. See, and I just happened to pick Woody in these books because I wanted to do a lines one. <laughs> So puzzle one is Woody again. But so we have lots of lines in here. And like I said, these are the nice lines to color. It's not like some of those that are really impossible. These are more along the lines <laughs> get it, of Sun Life Drawing or uh, Kira Shersneva. And I just love those. So then they do have answers at the back again. So again, two of them by Husky Wanna Fly, and then a whole crap load by Jennifer Rowling. Again, they are all under the publisher name though of oh, picked the wrong one of Bright Ideas Publishing. Bright Ideas Paper Publishing. I will link all of these down below in the description if you want to check any of them out. I know I am having a blast <laughs> with them. Um, like I said, you know me and my one color books. Um, and yeah, these are nice and they're easier to do. They don't have the super fine lines, so they're a little bit easier to color. So, well, I hope you liked seeing this huge haul <laughs> of these one color books. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.